you know what these stories will teach us? Sweet words from your kids. Exactly, it means so much. Any gift, better than any gift you get. It is. Yeah. Of course, breakfast in beds, not That's bad. not bad yeah. either. Not <laughs> bad either. And a nap. <laughs> and dinner. We yeah. have a list. Someone else do the chores. Yeah, there you, go. <laughs> you can lay it on a little thick. Yeah, it's it. okay. Uh, Weather-wise, I have sunshine in 70s for Sunday. Ooh, so nice. weather-wise, we have done our part. Yes. We have finally turned off the storm faucet. It has been an active week. It has been an unsettled week. We had a couple severe storms today that brought hail to parts of the area, really strong wind. We had severe storms yesterday. Heather was tracking those and it's all done, all clear. No more severe weather. Not to say it's not raining in some spots. So let's take a look at who's dealing with some downpours right now. There are a couple showers that are kind of trying to dance around uh, Davidson County and our surrounding county in Cheatham County. You've got a little tiny shower here. Same thing over towards Dixon. Better rain chances, though, are actually east along I-40. So if you're traveling east of Nashville through Wilson County, Smith County, especially Putnam County, it has been a slog, man. Just wave after wave of heavy downpours. No severe weather. There isn't even lightning associated with these, but it is heavy downpours, and that can create some briefly gusty wind. Some light showers kind of dancing around the Tennessee-Kentucky border here. Again, no mischief expected from these. The storms were fueled by a cold front, so it is cooler now in some spots. 60s to the east, you just saw Cookville drop to 63. Murray, Kentucky's at 57. That is noticeably colder than what we've had this week. And as that cool air settles in tonight, temperatures are going to drop down in the 50s for everybody. Clouds are going to be really stubborn to clear, though, and that means your weekend is going to start on the cloudy side of things. So 50s tonight with just a chance for a stray shower. Tomorrow, Saturday, cool and cloudy. Not cold, but only in the upper 60s. And with the clouds around, that means you're not going to get a whole lot of help from the sunshine. That sunshine does come back, though, for Mother's Day. Sunday's looking pretty fantastic. Mid 70s, lovely conditions. And once we do turn that corner and start warming up on Sunday, we slam it down on the gas pedal as far as the heat goes into next week. Rocket launching into some summertime territory by Tuesday, Wednesday looking to be potentially our first 90 degree days of the year, which could also set some records. The record on Tuesday is 92, so we're forecasting not to break that, but the record on Wednesday is 90, and our current forecast would break that record. Long dry stretch as well, so the plants that have had a good drink of water this week, they're gonna get a whole lot of sunshine to help them reach for the sky, Vicki, through next week. Our next best chance for rain doesn't slide in until late next Friday night.